In the last session, we discovered the equilibrium point using the geometries. So now we'd like to use the just only calculation to find the equilibrium point. The basic equation is expressed this equation. Equilibrium point particle has a zero acceleration and velocities. So this means this is zero. This is zero, zero, zero. Zero. So this means to find the equilibrium point, you have to find the partial derivative of u with respect to x, y, z equal zero. So from the partial derivative with respect to z, equation is little is quite easy. So this means z equals zero. So equilibrium point lie on the orbital plane of the bodies with masses of m sub 1 and m sub 2. We consider the orbital planes of the two objects m sub 1 and m sub 2. If the particle is out of the planes, these particles, actually attractive force acting on these two particles, these particles cannot stay in these positions and then making uh, oscillational motions. So particles experience the downward force from the two objects in these positions. So z have to be zero. So this means particles have to be on the orbital plane of the two objects. So this is comes from the equation of the round u, round z. Then we'd like to consider the forces in the y directions. To find out the forces in the y directions, you have to calculate round u, round y. So making the calculation, you have these quantities. For this quantity is zero, there are two choices. First choice is y equals zero. y equals zero, or this factor is zero. But this choice corresponds to L sub 4, L sub 5, so we are going to show you later. And the y equals 0 corresponds to the 3 equilibrium point, L sub 1, L sub 2, L sub 3. We'd like to consider the forces in the x direction. Again, you can calculate partial derivative of u with respect to x. So this has to be the 0. There are two choices. When you consider that this comes from the equation for the y directions, then this terms exactly equal to the zero. Then from the uh, this equation, it becomes here. Okay, from the this equations, you can find r sub one and r sub two have to be equal. You can use uh, this equation to find the omega square is equal to g m sub 1 plus m sub 2 over r sub 1 cubes. And the omega squares, the definition of the omega squares is expressed g m sub 1 plus m sub 2 over r sub 1 to cubes. And by comparing the, the most left hand side and the right hand side, and you could find r sub 1 equal r sub 1 to so we discovered r sub 1 equal r sub 2 equal r sub 1 2. This corresponds to the Lagrange point L sub 4 and L sub 5. Then we'd like to consider the another choice. Force in the x direction is exactly the same, but in this case we consider y equals 0. And also we have already showed that g equals 0. So we substitute this equation here. The equation becomes simplified. But in this case, a little bit complicated because of the, this absolute signs. This absolute sign comes from y equal z equal 0. Then r sub 1 equal square root x minus x sub 1 square 
so this is you we have to use absolute sign x minus x sub 1 and sub 1 2 x tilde plus mu because uh, x sub 1 is expressed this one using the new and x sub 2 with uh, this equation and r sub 2 is also expressed x minus x sub 2 this becomes r sub 1 2 the absolute values x tilde minus 1 minus nu and they using the these relations we discover the equation for the x tilde is a little bit complicated then we would like to solve the, this x to find the equilibrium point we would like to expand the absolute values the first region is uh, this region and the region 3 outside of the m sub 1 this is a region 3 and region 1 here and the region 2 is a between two regions region 1 and the region 3 for the region 1 this equation is, becomes here this equation is written with the, this one then to solve the, this equation for the really small value of x starts we ignore this 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 it becomes m sub 2 over m sub 1 equal x star cube 3 so we have a this equation if we use a more approximation we get a, a second order approximation okay and the equilibrium point in the region 2 also we remove the absolute signs then compile the equation then find the small x stars again you can remove the, these numbers so again very semi, same equation m sub 2 over m sub 1 is a 3 x star cube so we have a approximate values x star is equal to the m sub 2 over 3 m sub 1 and the power index is 1 over 3 in the second order so we could calculate in the same way and the equilibrium point in the region 3 also very similar calculation we remove the absolute signs in the very small x stars then this is gonna be uh, removed so it becomes this x stars 12 over 7 so we have uh, this quantities also again up to the second order we have uh, this equation okay so we discovered equilibrium points okay this is the end of this session